Hey everyone, so in today's video, I have a quick roundup of all of my favorite cream bronzers that I've tried. As you guys know, I love really natural skin-like makeup and cream bronzers are one of those things, if you can find one that you really, really like and looks really good on the skin, it will give you the most natural bronze effect. And really the idea of bronzer is to make the skin look as if it is actually tan. And when you can see the lines, when you can see a lot of visible makeup it kind of takes away from the illusion i'm really happy to finally share this little curated list of my favorite cream bronzers and i also wanted to give you guys a quick shout out thank you for watching my series one week of cream bronzers thank you so much for supporting those videos it really means a lot to me if you're new to my channel if you don't know what that series was i reviewed a cream bronzer every single day on my channel for an entire week and it was definitely a roller coaster ride for me i'll leave that playlist link down below but to kind of encapsulate it, there were so many that I was just kind of iffy about. It really means that today, these products that I'm sharing with you have been tested. They're really tried and true, and I really, really, really enjoy them. So definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you're excited about it. And of course, I hope that you will subscribe if you're new. I wanna quickly talk about what I look for in a cream bronzer, just so you guys can get an idea. As I touched on before, I really like my cream bronzer to look as natural as possible. And it just needs to blend very evenly and look very smooth on the skin. I don't like the look of very heavy cream bronzer on my skin. These products, I think, are super easy to work with. Let's just start off with what is on my face right now, because that's always a really a good place to start I feel this is one that you guys actually really wanted me to try out so thank you because I really really love it it is the Fenty matchsticks and in particular today we're talking about the shade mocha the shade that I have these came out I really had absolutely no desire to try them just because I had this sort of preconceived notion in my head that they were going to be really waxy they were going to look really mask like on the skin I'm really happy that that is not the case the, it's the stiffest cream bronzer that I have today and what's good about the stiffness of this product is that it is actually super thin and you don't need a lot of product. It is quite pigmented, so you can go in with just the thinnest amount and this shears over the skin absolutely beautifully and continues to surprise me that this that they've managed to make a product so thin but also so evenly pigmented and blendable. I really cannot say enough good things about this. It looks so gorgeous on the skin and it gives me a perfect blend every single time I use it. And this shade in particular just, it suits me really well, which is nice. It also wears for a full eight hours, sometimes longer. So probably my favorite part about the product is that it just looks like skin when it's on the skin. And it's because of that thin texture, it really is able to emulate the texture of actual skin, which is not super, super dewy. Skin isn't naturally incredibly dewy. So this makes for, this definitely makes for a very, very easy to work with natural product that I adore. Next, let's talk about a product that is probably not a surprise to all of you if you've been watching my channel for any sort of period of time. I love the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and it continues to be my most recommended cream bronzer out there. I have the shade Baked in specific and one thing that I love is how easy to work with it is. The formula is just so balanced. It's dewy, but it's not super, super over the top dewy. So it makes it nice for everyday makeup. If you have more dry skin, it'll give you a really luminous look, but it's not going to look greasy at all. The pigmentation is nice. It's a really even pigmentation that's more on the medium side. So it's not super, super pigmented and it's not really, really, really light pigmentation. But again, it's somewhere in the middle and I, and I really like that pigmentation. It makes it more easy to work with. On the skin, it just blends easily. And I find that you can't really go wrong with it. Every time I wear it, my skin looks dewy and natural. And that tends to be the reason why I recommend it over and over again, because most people that want a cream bronzer want something that looks really dewy and natural and more for like super fresh makeup. This gives a really fresh appearance to the skin. Another reason why I recommend it over and over again is that you get an entire ounce of product 
in this tube. It's kind of insane. The price per ounce is by far the best out of any of the products that I'm talking about today. It really is a steal when you put it into perspective. Most people would look at the price tag and be like, oh, it's a little bit more expensive. I can go with a cheaper drugstore option, but price per ounce, this is by far the best. And with the formula, I really feel like you can't beat it. Next, we have one that done an entire video comparing these two, and it's the Nudies Matte. I'll leave that review down below in case you're interested on how these are similar and different. But the Nudies Matte bronzers are gorgeous. I have two shades. I have the shade Bondi Bay and I have the shade Sunkissed. Recommend and are really, really gorgeous products. The formulas are consistent between the two. If you want a true bronze look, I would go with Bondi Bay, but if you like a little bit more of that sun-kissed look, like a blush bronzer hybrid sort of product, I would go with sun-kissed. And I actually really, really love sun-kissed because I have more fair skin, obviously, and this shade can sometimes look a lot more natural on me. I really love the Nudies Matte because the formula is very, very unique. The product is so creamy but also very lightweight. And that's something that you don't always get when you have a creamier product. This is definitely a more lightweight product. And when it goes onto the skin, it gives you a really pretty, more satin finish. It's, it has the creaminess that you want to actually blend it into the skin. If you have oily skin, but you do like cream bronzers, I would absolutely recommend this one. These also last a long time on my skin because they are more on the matte side. So if you want a more matte bronzer, if you have oily skin, or really if you just like a more matte look to your skin, this is absolutely an awesome option. And lastly, we have one more bronzer. This is definitely a curated list. So you can tell that like, I love these products. I just didn't feel right including other products that I don't feel are as good as these. But the last bronzer is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. This one is the most affordable, not price per ounce, but in general, it's the most affordable. But the formula to me definitely rivals some of the more expensive bronzers out on the market. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, except this one is a little bit less dewy than that one. This one's really perfect for quick everyday makeup. It has just the right amount of creaminess that you want, and this also has jojoba oil in it, but it's not a really thick product. It's more on the thin side. That's what ends up making a cream bronzer look really natural on the skin. With a more natural everyday finish, this is an amazing option. This isn't as pigmented as the other bronzers, which I actually like. I think it makes it really easy for every day. It's not like lacking in pigment by any means. It just has a little bit less than some of these other products. Which again, if you just want a natural everyday makeup product to kind of just use on the go and be out the door, then it's a really, really great option because it's hard to go wrong with it. It's hard to kind of mess it up. So that is everything. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I will see you in my next one.